Hi, I'm David Blattner, co-host of InDesign Secrets and Creative Pro, and I'm going to show you one way to add lines into a form like this one. I say one way because there are actually a lot of different ways to do this in InDesign, but let's start with the easiest first. I'm going to grab the Type tool, and then I'll click after the word Name inside this text frame. With the cursor flashing, I'll press a Tab character, but instead of pressing a normal Tab character, I'm going to hold on the Shift key when I press Tab. Shift Tab is a Right Align tab. It always goes all the way to the right margin. Here, let me show you. I'll go to the Type menu and come all the way down here to choose Show Hidden Characters. There it is. That's a Shift Tab, a Right Margin Align tab. Down here, you can see that I have a couple of normal tabs inside this line. Now, to make my line, I'm going to select this character that I just typed, and I'm going to go up to the Control Panel. That's the panel at the top of the screen. If you don't see it there, you can always go to the Window menu and choose Control. I want to make sure that I'm in Character Formatting mode, so that's that little A button on the left side of the panel. Once I'm in Character Formatting mode, I can click this little button over here, the T with the underline. But instead of just clicking it, I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key when I click it. That forces InDesign to open the Underline Options dialog box. Now I can turn on this checkbox, and I can set this underline up just the way I want it. For example, I'll make it a quarter point, and instead of the offset of two points, I'm going to set it to zero. A zero point offset means line up the line exactly with the baseline of the text. I'll click OK, and now before I go applying that to any place else, I want to turn this into a style. In this case, a character style. So I'm going to go to the Window menu, come down to the Styles submenu, and choose Character Styles. Then inside the Character Styles menu, I'll choose New Character Style. All of the formatting of the selected text has been imported automatically inside this dialog box. So all I need to do is give this a name, like Form Line. I'm going to make sure Apply Style to Selection is turned on, and then I'll click OK. There's my new character style. Now, what's great about this is that it's just a character, so I can quickly copy and paste this character wherever I need it. Like, I'll press Command or Control C to copy it, then I'll click down here and press Command or Control V to paste it. I'll do the same thing at the end of this line as well. Again, because it's a Shift tab, it always goes all the way to the right margin. This tab over here, I can select and give it a line simply by clicking once on my character style. Now, of course, because this is a character style, I can right-click it inside the panel and choose Edit. Now, I'll click Underline Options, and I can change this to some other style. For example, let's make it thicker. Let's make it a dotted line instead of a solid line. And we could even change the color. I'll click OK and click out here, and you can see that it has updated throughout the document. I don't want to see those hidden characters anymore, so I'll go back to the Type menu and choose Hide Hidden Characters. Underlining tabs is an easy and flexible way to make form lines, but like I said, there are other ways to add lines too, and I'll cover those in future movies. For now, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials. And sign up to receive our free newsletter, InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.